make short notes for quick revision i have studied a lot but now i am not remembering anything after each test analyze your mistake already i told you and work on time management strategy for the exam this is very important daily target at least one mock test you have to attempt ultimately your mind feels that this is the most important time and here i have to be more active so this proper sleep is very important hello everyone welcome to pw so in this session i am going to discuss a complete last month preparation strategy for gate 2026 this one month is very crucial for your gate exam marks not for learning new things but for maximizing your marks from what you have already studied so in this session i am going to tell you all the possible hacks for your revision and if you are going to follow honestly you will feel that particular difference in your preparation and ultimately that difference will be seen to your marks okay in your final score so stay till the end because there are a lot of things and common mistakes that most of the students do and i am going to highlight it that you must avoid for your uh, remaining time of the preparation now please observe first you should focus on revision of core subject this time is not to learn a new things but instead of going with the new things you should be very clear that what to do for the upcoming uh, days and uh, your preparation strategy should be aligned towards more revision rather than going with a new uh, topic learning okay so first revision of core subject and uh, how to define the core subject it totally depends upon the marks weightage uh, in the final exam like uh, high weightage subjects you need to go through the revision first okay if you have already completed revise your notes and formula sheet focus on concepts you found tricky during your initial preparation solve previous year questions as much as you can and every different uh, type of uh, pyq you need to understand the soul of the question because almost 60% of the question is based upon the pyq only okay make short notes for quick revision yes during your uh, revision process you can make short notes easily uh, where you can write the important formulas as well as your uh, important conditions that increases your confidence of a subject which is very highly required uh, at this particular time because mostly student thought that i have studied a lot but now i am not remembering anything from this particular uh, type of situation you will be keep yourself out just by going with a revision and making the notes short notes at the same time of the revision okay practice more numericals as much as you can because ultimately you have to solve the questions in the final gate exam only okay now let's talk about how to do the revision and what should be your daily target so if we talk about daily target your 4 to 5 hours of a day must be dedicated for the revision only and this revision should be a intensive revision it the revision is like you have to uh, appear in the paper tomorrow okay and you are doing the revision today so such kind of intensive uh, revision is needed one to two hours of problem solving you can increase it further and try to solve the problems at the time when your actual gate exam is going to uh, is uh, scheduled like let us suppose you are in the first half from 9 to 9 to 12 then you should try to solve the numericals as much as possible during that particular 3 hours so that your mind your body will get adjust to uh, give its maximum at that particular uh, time okay conceptual revision is also very important uh, some of the questions have some kind of uh, concepts like Uh, in if you talk about in network there is a super node concept if you talk about in electrical machine there is a concept of uh, load angle in case of synchronous machines okay there is a concept uh, of uh, uh, say uh, emf balance or mmf balance in case of transformer 
so likewise your subject you know that if you are from uh, uh, computer science engineering then you must know about uh, sequential circuits how to solve how to solve the time lag questions converters okay so this is very important 30 to 45 minutes of the formula revision on daily basis and uh, how to do the formula revision you have one month just uh, take a simple white paper sheet or uh, your uh, notebook and try to write down uh, by memorizing right from the starting to the end of the subject which you are revising okay uh, for 3 to 4 hours the subject you you have done the revision for that you can just put the formula so it's a twice revision in a day and those formulas are going to be stuck in your mind forever okay next is your mock test see mock test uh, analysis is more important than mock mock test itself why i am saying this because if you are doing a mock test analysis after performing mock test if you give 45 minutes for analysis and where you will identify what uh, makes you to do the question wrong why you are unable to do a particular question whether a conceptual lag whether a carelessness so that you can easily identify and write it and uh, go through it again and again so that uh, such kind of things will not happen in the actual exam also you should know how to solve the uh, paper more than one time in a, a single duration like if uh, you have a full length test try to solve the full length test twice okay twice in the given time so why i am saying twice uh, it is not uh, uh, you have to go through each and every question twice the way of selection of question in the first go is uh, like easy and moderate one and you have to select the heavier question with the more calculation in the second go okay and try to avoid the silly calculation mistake which can reduces your marks okay is skipping the confusing questions is the best way and that all you learn through the mock tests only so go through the as much mock test as possible try to attempt full length test now okay if you have completed your uh, subject wise test now you have to move towards the full length test so that you will understand uh, if the subject uh, questions are jumping from one subject to another subject how you have to keep uh, yourself calm and uh, uh, you can mem uh, you can recall your uh, concept of that particular subject so subject uh, when subject switching will be there in the paper so that makes you more uh, perfectionist uh, for the actual exam okay uh, next is after each test analyze your mistake already i told you and work on time management strategy for the exam this is very important if any question is confusing type you should know and you should like uh, review for the uh, second go and move to the next question okay so this kind of question is very important whatever notes you are making for your mistake go through those notes for attempting the next mock test before okay and uh, you can at when whenever you are attempting the mock test always think that this is the actual test so this performance matters okay then only you can uh, uh, give the test with the same intention which you are going to give in the actual exam okay so that makes actual exam very easy for you and uh, your uh, marks correction will be there now next is your daily target at least one mock test you have to attempt so in 15 days you will get 15 to 20 mock test in 15 to 20 days two to three hours of uh, test analysis already i told you that this test analysis is very important those questions that you haven't able to solve you have to go through those questions okay and uh, this also increases your confidence see the remaining time is just to enhance your uh, confidence reduce your uh, confusions or those topics which you haven't prepared in a better way that will be uh, delivered to you through the mock test questions so analyze the mock test that is very important final focus on quick revision of your short notes on the final and relaxation these two things are very important that you should focus on revision and try to be relaxed as much as possible since you have given your entire one year so it is very difficult to get relaxed when the actual uh, fight uh, fighting time is now uh, in front of you 
so i know that because you have given that particular time so you have some little bit tension will be there but you can relax yourself and when attempting the question first of all first uh, thing which comes in your mind is this question is easy and i can do it easily and if you are able to solve the question do not get hyper excited that ah now i am going to get rank 1 in gate and so on such kind of thoughts will be started so while going through the mock test you have to generate one more ability which is very important that try to be neutral if the question is solved with you you will be neutral it may be solved by the lot of uh, other uh, persons also so it's not a big deal and why when you are unable to solve that particular question thought like uh, okay there are 65 questions so i am moving to the next one and i try that one in the first go if you go in a, in a two go if you are attempting the paper in a two different go so first go you uh, when while skipping the questions you won't think that i am going to skip the paper because you have another go also okay so that also reduces your negative marking and one a negative mark if you are avoiding it will be equivalent to doing one question right okay so try to avoid the negative marking as much as possible at least it should not done by the any kind of silly mistake okay revision of formula revision of formula important concept regularly so while revising you have to focus what are the special conditions okay uh, when you are going through the pyqs you will be able to identify what kind of uh, theories is more important that uh, iit thought and ask in the gate exam previously so on that theories your concentration while doing the revision will be more stay calm confident avoid unnecessary stress and how can we avoid unnecessary stress do not compare your preparation with your friend's preparation because maybe your friend is telling you and he is not done that kind of preparation do not fall in a trap of your friend request do you know this kind of concept do you know this kind of concept this is a shortcut so this is not the time to fall in that kind of trap because that only distract your mind is it okay so never compare your preparation with your friend's preparation this makes you super relaxed another thing is uh avoid thinking like this is the last attempt i have no uh, other chance especially i am telling for those uh, girls because girls have a pressure that either you will be qualifying this year uh, or uh, we are uh, making your admission to this particular college okay so because the most mostly uh, parents will decide uh, how to do okay so it's a, a little bit some of the uh, families will have such kind of issues but if you are facing such a things then definitely you should more focused your study and revision in spite instead of thinking that this is the last attempt that a uh, family has given to me forget about it now you have one month give your 100% to this one month and your result will be very good stay positive you need not to think about other kind of pressure same pressure will become to the students as well those especially for those who have already been qualified they are btech engineering or some of them uh, have done their masters as well and preparing for psus do not think that this is the age uh, we have some age limit and now it is going these kind of thoughts are just giving you a stress they are not helping anyhow in your upcoming exam so avoid these kind of stress do not think about your problem anyhow even if some kind of problem will be appeared in front of you try to avoid it think that this is not my problem this is the best way you have to focus for your future you have to focus for your revision only and rest everything else is not your problem okay so this makes you a super uh, uh, like relax that is most important for revision and grasping more and more thing when you oscillate lesser you will gain more okay so as fast as you get stabilized in your mind you will be start grasping more and more during the revision instead of oscillating with the thoughts and try to grasp some of the portion okay proper sleep is very important the student thought that i am uh, i have to go through the 14 hours of study 16 hours of study 
in my point of view eight hours of study is sufficient for a student uh, if properly planned and that two is not in a one go it should be uh, in a two or three different stretches okay uh, and uh, there will be a proper uh, sleep as well as proper relaxation uh, easy digest fooding will be involved okay so these kind of things you should prefer that also help you uh, for your uh, upcoming exam if you done your proper sleeping and you are your mind will be most active at the time when your paper uh, is going to be uh, conducted like uh, morning half or second half at that particular time if you do most of the question practicing na so ultimately your mind feels that this is the most important time and here i have to be more active okay so this proper sleep is very important sleep also relax your mind which is important to gain uh, during revision if your mind is relaxed you will gain within one or two minutes of the revision which unrelaxed mind may not gain in one hour so you can understand that difference okay now let us talk about tips for the last month from my side so uh, i'm just giving you a final uh, preparation uh, strategy uh, overall uh, uh, i'm just accumulating all of them so focus on your strong subject start with your strong subject that con makes you more confident do not lose marks try when you are going with a mock test so at least those uh, subjects which you are when you are feeling your strong area you will not lose marks there do not panic about the topics that you haven't yet studied until unless you haven't studied anything so <laughs> you need not to think about that uh, one subject i have left so should i have to go to that particular subject should i try to learn that particular subject if you can avoid there is no issue but if the subject will have very high weightage then i can suggest you at least one or two hours you can give to that particular subject to understand basics of that particular subject mostly the questions are from the basic part next is a stick to your schedule and avoid distraction this one month is very crucial and you should avoid all kind of distraction it doesn't matter how important that will be in your life until unless uh, it that will going to decide your future okay so use tools like flash cards or apps to revise the formula and start giving a small rewards to yourself uh is not only rewards also give punishment to yourself because punishment is the best way to get discipline okay either animal or a human all get disciplined only by the punishments okay so your mind is also uh, start thinking that i should avoid that punishment it it can be in terms of uh, like uh, extra hours that you have to be uh, devote uh in case if you skip anything okay suppose you have done your scheduling you decided if i will not follow this particular schedule then my weakness is a sweet uh, uh, or say uh, some particular fu fu food or some sweets so you will avoid that sweets for one month okay so this kind of small uh, you can give punishment to yourself in this way what happened uh your mind will get uh, whenever you are skipping the schedule your mind thought that no if i skip that schedule maybe uh, i am unable to get my favorite sweet okay my favorite sweet or a chocolate a day if you are taking one chocolate in a week then also you can just like thinking i am not going to take a chocolate if i avoid today so this kind of a small punishment you can give yourself and as well as you can give a small rewards to yourself like if today i am going to complete my schedule then i will uh, talk to my friend so this kind of a small rewards you can create so what happens that anyhow that will that small rewards or small punishments make your mind to align to complete your schedule target of the day and you will get maximum output from the day hoping uh, all of these points will help you a lot and uh, you are going to perform best in the upcoming exam gate 2026 best wishes from my side thank you everyone love you all